can't handle the truth. You get lonely? Yeah, more or less. What do you get lonely for, of? Because I feel like I should be, you know, out roaming the streets, you know, like normal kids. <laughs> I'm always doing a business. It's funny because, you know what I mean, when you're in a professional business, you know, you have, it's like obligations. And it's, like I was saying before, it's like you sold your soul to the devil. You know what I mean? Like if you want to get out of it, but you can't. In the but you're your still life. a young guy to feel that way. That, that's, a, that's a pretty, you know, that's, that's for late in a career to yeah, feel but that. It's funny because I do. You think that's healthy? Uh, for, a guy that, for, for a guy that wants to be in the game a long time? Well, who knows? Story so easy like to sell like, your soul, you know? It's no, just, no, it's even very seem easy. Hard. It doesn't even seem it's hard. very easy. Feeling like your your soul leaves your body. No, uh, my soul did leave my body. What is uh, the soul? The soul. What is it? What What is the idea of a soul? The soul is, um, scientifically, they weighed the soul because they waited for somebody to die. Mm. They weighed them before he died. And when he died, he weighed like 1.2 grams lighter. The soul is inconceivable. No. Our brain is not um, equipped to even understand it or conceive the soul. Mm. It is 1907, and a new theory of proof of the soul is leaked in the New York Times. The headline exclaims, The soul has a weight. Decision from Haverhill, Massachusetts, Duncan McDougall thinks. As you might imagine, McDougall's experiments on humans have never been repeated for ethical reasons. The more I'm in the house of, the more I'm in the house of God, the more I see the devil. And I said that in, um, in a way like, you see people in there to defend, yes, it's a lot of wealth. It's a lot of, and I don't think that's what it's about. $600 million you made in, in your career, they're saying. At one point, Mike Tyson was the highest paid boxer. Since then, Floyd Mayweather has taken over that crown. By the time he was 20, he was the youngest heavyweight champion of the world. And a multi-millionaire. Overnight, the poor boy from the mean streets of Brooklyn had it all. One day I'm in this drug house with a gun on people and the next thing you know, heavyweight champion of the world! Is it partially because you didn't think the fight could sell or do you think it's just uh, um, being kind? There's no one, you know what I mean, really, um, you're being smart, Alex, you know what I mean? No, I'm just no, curious, no, 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 I'm going to tell you something. To be honest, forgive me, Bob, there's no one that can outsell me. There's no one that can compete against me in my, my field. When it comes to my field, I'm the best and there's no one that can even compete. So why would you say this? There's no one to compete. You should know. How can they compete? Bo and Holyfield, you know, we're all together. I'm not competing against We're all going to make a good living, to all, to all three of us. But there's no one to compete. When I fight tonight, they fight, they're going to have financial problems. They're not going to get any closer. They're not going to get no foreign sales. There's no one that can compete against me. So there's no way that it wouldn't sell. It's never, it never, it's not even conceivable to anyone's mind that I can't sell. My dad took me out of school. I got you out of school? Yeah. Teaching um, you that devil worshiping shit, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just gotta have to say that shit. You all the way at rock bottom. That's when they're like, "Well, guess I'll see you if you if you come back up. Give me a call, man. No, uh, going to the next person. <laughs> they go down there with you to get you to do some sell your soul. Huh? Absolutely, so yeah. Back like then, that the desire and the hunger is being number mm -hmm. one. That, that supersedes everything. You know, Almost, even God. Yeah, you know? for sure. Absolutely. The hunger is being number mm -hmm. one. That, that supersedes everything. You know, even God. Thing. That's not. It's not like an apparent thing. They're like, hey, you want a bunch of money? Yeah, 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 slavery. Bunch of money. And the guys, these people own your life. Your whole so, yeah. if you do me wrong, no, I cut ties. Like the devil wins. Quick. The devil wins. So you're saying the devil wins because someone did me wrong, and I cut ties with that person. I act like I never met that person. Yeah. So I gotta be the bigger person because he changed you. Oh. Okay. So he's your master because he controls your emotions. He's not your enemy, he's your master. Because you're not who you used to be now. He stole that away from you. You have to believe this, you have to know this. One thing I'm gonna tell you, and this is spiritual, right? Yeah. See all your it's stuff, really all your fights, see all your fights and stuff? All your, all your knockers is spectacular. You know what that means? All this good stuff happening to you, you know what that means? That your favorite is by God. You know that, right? Yeah. You know that, right? But this is something, you may, this something that you may not know too. When you're favored by God, you're also favored by the devil. He's coming for you too. <laughs> so you just gotta be strong and stay on the right side. Whose side you gonna go on? He's gonna give you power too. He's gonna get in your head too, but it's whose side you gonna stay with. You stay with who brought you here. Mm. You stay. You go home with the guy that brought you to the dance. Look, you're powerful, he wants you. He's coming as you gonna tell you ego. He's gonna tell you how beautiful you are and he's gonna tell you I made you beautiful. So you do what I say. I'm not gonna let you get all this fame and I'm not gonna enjoy this pleasure either. He might want you to fuck somebody you're not supposed to fuck, but I want to fuck her. <laughs> you know, they get in your head. 
and yeah. it make you believe you deserve it. Why don't you deserve it? Didn't Mike Tyson tell you no should be a foreign language? Oh, they talk to you like they're the good, your best friend. You have to be disciplined. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Say, maybe I'm going to go home tonight. Yes, remember, God loves you, so does he. He's after you, too. It's a war. You got to really believe that. You if you don't to, believe it, you'll find out. And you have to be smart. Need faith, because you're not smarter than Satan, brother. I know you may think you ain't smarter than Satan. You need faith. <laughs> you need faith, brother. He's good. He knows your weakness. He knows you before you were existing. He knew your mother before you knew your father. He knew. He knows you before God he knew your existence. They knew you together. They were there when they made you together. He know you. You can't have no secrets from him. You can't talk slick to him. I know the art of fight. I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. Because that's all my, I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. And now those days are gone. It's empty. I'm nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you be with me? That's the reason why I'm crying. Because I'm not that person no more. And I miss him. Because sometimes I feel like a because I don't, want to, I don't want that person to come out because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. And it's not funny at all. I'm not that person no more. And I miss him because I don't want, to, I don't want that person to come out because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. It's tricky because if, um, the more I look into the churches and the mosques for God, the more I start seeing the devil. That's what this country's built on, worshiping. Even since we've been... Um, Neanderthals, cavemen, we always worshiped something, a rock, uh -huh. a pond, a bird, something, you know. Um, we need to worship something uh -huh. bigger than ourselves. Yeah. You know, and I, and I don't think, um, I don't think God is ignorant enough to make us in his likeness. This next part is a quick compilation of evil Mike Tyson quotes. When you ask him, you know, what's, what, what he's thinking with in the boxing ring, well, when you hear someone say, you know, I just imagine my fist going through this person's skull. Well, to me, that's cause for for, uh, for for some type of concern somewhere. The brother, great the brother, died. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he's not dead, it doesn't count. I never heard a, a champion talking like that. How do you never talk like that? I joke crazy, you know. This is a, a sport. I mean, we, we try to think of it as a sport. I mean, I just, I just want his soul, you know, I just want to take his soul. Just rip his heart off, huh? Exactly. I could have knocked him out in the third round, but I wanted to do it very slowly. Champion of the world, Mike Tyson. Then, his, then I'll illustrate my reign with bloodshed and pain. Then everybody will fear me. Got trembling in bones. The more um, vindictive articles, uh, you know, I mean, perverted articles I hear, I go out there and I want to annihilate them. I want to kill them. I'm ready. It's not gonna last. He's gonna suffer very much. I just want blood. I, I, I wanted, I wanted his blood. You know, I was prepared to go 15 rounds. I was just, I was ready for the kill. I'm a blood man. I'm always ready for the kill. Well, he, eventually he would have got hurt. As you know, I'm, I'm a blood man. I like to finish it. And he wants a remix. Next time I kill him. When he mentions my name, I want the veins to turn white. I want him to sweat blood. Cause I'm gonna do damage on him. Wow, that scared me. I'm just, I just want to kill him. You know, do my best. I, you know, I am maybe this kid, I'm trying to just clean it up. My parole officer listening to me. Yeah, I think maybe I, just feel, I have the feeling of killing somebody, I guess. I don't think I can really kill them, but I feel like I want to kill them. He shouldn't believe that at all, because you know why? Because after, cause after I, I kick Stuart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death. The unwritten clause in our contract, that any time during training and fighting, you can die. That's a great possibility that we wish don't happen, we hope don't happen. It's interesting, because the old Mike Tyson, I would imagine, was okay to, of the idea. Well, that guy, he didn't have any self-love or self-respect. So of course he don't want to live. This is a different guy. I got mixed feelings with that part of my life. Right. I try to forget that stuff, because I'm on a whole different um, pattern, yeah. yeah. I always say, these guys are so much nicer than I was. <laughs> you know what I mean? These are cool guys, man. When you were in the ring doing a post-fight interview saying, you want to eat your children. You want to eat someone's children. I remember saying, this is the craziest fucking post-fight interview. Remember what I'm saying to these guys? I would yeah. never talk to anybody like that. You know, it's just such a different <laughs> world now. My world is so different now. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. I was extremely sorry. Yeah. And I won't say that anymore about eating his children. I sacrificed so much of my life. If I wish one of your guys had children so I could kick them in the and had a stomp on their testicles for you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have. And that's the only thing I regret. That's mm -hmm. the only thing I regret. I wish mm -hmm. I could have 
I wanted to talk like a human being to those mm. people. But in order to be what I wanted to do, I had to be a savage. That yeah. was your way. Yeah, that's what I knew. You know, some guys are just like Alexis Arguello. He's a gentleman the whole world before yeah. he kills you. The last part, we will go over the tragic death of Mike's daughter. It might seem like just as a coincidence, but it's a little weird how almost every superstar has some sort of weird death within their family. I could be wrong, but I think the devil came and collected. This could have been another sacrifice. How a four-year-old could have died simply playing on exercise equipment in a, mod a modest home. Mike Tyson's four-year-old daughter has died one day after what police called a tragic accident. The little girl was found Monday morning by her brother with her neck caught in an exercise machine cable. Members of the quiet community say they were stunned by the news. They always play with her and it's just really sad to hear that. Mike is a you know, personal friend of mine. It's just... Really sad, really sad. Really, my condolences go out to him. Investigators searched the family's home shortly after the accident, but they say they didn't find anything suspicious. Tyson has asked for privacy as his family tries to deal with the loss. I don't know what happened. It's, um, something happened that day. I don't know what happened that day. But whatever happened that day, was there a new Mike Tyson that came the next day? No, I did some cocaine for a week. I had to get high. I had to back then. I had to get high. Um, I couldn't handle it at all. You have to go. No, you understand, me? Right? Thank you. Thank you, man. What was the biggest beatdown you've ever had? Whether it be physically or emotionally or spiritually? I lost my four-year-old daughter. She accidentally killed herself by accident. Oh, man. She jumped on a treadmill. She didn't know how to work it, and she had hurt. Wow. So um, after that, I didn't know what to do. I just didn't know what to do. How'd you recover from that? I didn't have it. Answering when I lost my daughter in some family accident at home, and um, I just it was just a time to grow up and wake up. First incident in your life, right? Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Has she died? How? Um, a freak accident. Hey, listen, um, you look at a guy like me at this stage of my life, I'm doing good, got a couple of hundred million dollars properties and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And I hate myself. No, I know you don't. Look at you, nigga. You look at, you, know look you, at you, nigga. Look at you. You gonna tell me how I feel about myself? Come nigga. on, really? Who are you, nigga? Who are you to tell me? Who are you, period? No, well, this uh, is well, who I am. Right. But listen, you. this is just some people have. You don't know what I've seen. That's so true, though. Yeah, yeah I haven't yeah. walked in your shoes. You're yeah. absolutely right. I wouldn't live long. Because I wouldn't want to see my children die. I wouldn't live long at all. That would kill me if I, you know, see him growing old. I lost the daughter at four, but imagine that me with the relationship I have with my children now. I would want to die a lot earlier. Right. You can see here uh, Tyson hinting that he might be dying soon. We're all going to die mm. one day, of course. Then when I look in the mirror, I see those little spots on my face, and I say, wow, man, that's my expiration day is coming close really soon. Please subscribe with notifications on.